Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Coach Shadongster One, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Friesen Park Klotten in Germany. Now, we didn't talk about this park for a while. Uh, but this is all about Cunibert's adventure and the progress on the brand new dart ride set to come to the park. Now before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe and click the FK spell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media. Shoutouts go to Josh Perry aka at Thought Pot Discussions on Instagram and also Ethan Brown. If you want a shout out on this video, please comment down below and also don't forget guys, Today is the final day for your questions for the Q&A video, so you can keep sending questions in afterwards if they're not featured in the Q&A video, but today is the final day and the end of today is the deadline for your questions. And of course, we will be doing that Q&A video tomorrow, uh, filming it tomorrow. It's going to be a long one. It's the first Q&A video that's forced me onto two pages on my notes to record all the questions down from YouTube and Instagram. Got some old ones as well from Discord from months ago when I sort of had a Discord pay. Obviously, we've got Discord still, but obviously, I don't really pay much attention to it now. So, uh, it's been mainly YouTube and Instagram, but we did have some old ones from Discord as well. So, uh, we'll be answering all of them in that Q&A video tomorrow. It's going to be one of the biggest videos, if not arguably the biggest video we've done on this channel. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk to you about a project that we could be working on uh, at the end of this coronavirus. So, stay tuned for a, news up for a little update on that. Uh, but this video is all about Friesen Park Clotten. So Cunibert's Adventure is a brand new dart ride. Uh, now Lagatronics, they are the company providing the scenes and the uh, sort of effects for the ride. Uh, but the main ride system is produced by ART Engineering. Now they've done the Legoland Ninjago dart ride. Uh, they've done some dart rides in China. They've done uh, stuff for Cannibal, which is the uh, Beyond Vertical Drop Coaster at Lagoon over in the States. Uh, but this dart ride is very special. Now we've got some brand new progress on site and the fact that a concrete structure that sort of runs, sort of uh, involves uh, the ABC Rides Log Flume attraction and of course their Gerslaar Bobsled Coaster attraction, uh, that is all being themed up. They finally made the decision to theme it up. So we're going to be showing you all of that. We're going to be showing you some pictures from the park. Uh, which includes that, but also includes works on the trains for the ride, because the train design for the ride has been unleashed. And also, we're going to show you a layout image of how the ride's going to operate. So let's start by showing you construction on the concrete structure re-theme on your screen right now. Fan Dabby Dozy. And basically, the um, sort of stats and facts from the forum that reported this um, this concrete structure in the middle of the Gerslau bobsled coaster and ABC Rides Flume Ride has been in the park for years, but it's been a long time coming for a re-theme and they've finally realised the ambitions to theme it. However, there is also the interactive dart ride inside the concrete structure and that is Cunibert's Adventure. It will see guests travel through a haunted castle and meet the ghosts that live there, so for those of you who need a reminder of the story. It will have interactive shooting screens uh, incorporated into the scenes, and like I said before, ART Engineering is supplying the ride system, and Lagatronics, not Lagatronics, Lagatronics pr projects are the scenes and the systems. And the ride cars also feature onboard audio. So let's put those train cars on your screen now. Find a dozy. So you can see there, it's kind of like it kind of looks like. Um, do you feel like you could just stand behind it and throw like like foam balls through it like an arcade game with those holes at the back? Uh, but all jokes aside, it does look very good. It very looks it looks like a haunted castle thing going on with the dark purple, the pinks, uh, the sort of velvety type colours going on with the, uh, merging with the black. Uh, and here's another picture from inside the factory on your screen now. Find Abidozi, there's a picture of three more trains there. Uh, another image on your screen right now, Van Dabidozi, that's some of the uh, animatronics and some of the f um, sort of figures being worked on there in the studio. And then we're going to share this on your screen right now, Van Dabidozi. So, this is the layout of the ride. So, this is in a circular format. Uh, so, it goes from the station, it goes, so it's going counterclockwise pretty much. Uh, so, scene one, portraits, scene two, arsenal, scene three, Jagdzimmer. Scene 4, Vine Keller. 
Scene 5, Vogel Term. Scene 6, Schatzkammer. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, scene 7, Jacques de Troffen. Uh, scene 8, Festal. And Scene 9, Kunibert, which is, of course, the main icon for the attraction. Some of those German names are hard to pronounce, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, Arsenal. We're going to see Arsene Wenger in the scene. <laughs> Didum tsh. Uh, but, in all jokes aside, I think it's a really good looking attraction. I think we've got a brilliant looking dart right here. Uh, and I think that ALT Engineering is the right people for this. I think that uh, they're a great manufacturer. I've done the research, I've looked on their website. Uh, and they've done some fantastic work on some brilliant attractions, coasters, dart rides, other attractions. They've done some fantastic work. Um, and manufacturers actually links into the project that I'm going to tell you at the end of this video that we could be work that potentially we're working on after the coronavirus is ended. Uh, but yes, this is all very good stuff, and I feel like uh, Clotten really are utilising the concrete structure that sort of goes through or incorporates the bobsled coaster and the flume ride. And I feel like adding a dart ride inside the structure, I feel like just gives it that extra touch, but of course they're giving it the outside feel as well. So it's like three attractions merged into one, rather than just two with a concrete structure in the middle now. It's actually going to feel like a themed experience inside, and also to look at outside or to look at when you're on the coaster or the flume ride. So I feel like it's a real plus this dart ride, both for a new ride purpose, but also to incorporate the surrounding attractions. Uh, so there we go. So that is a little progress report then on Kunibert's adventure at Friesen Park Klotten. Uh, now, I've been telling you guys about this little project that we could potentially be working on um, after the coronavirus has ended and it's stopped and everything's calmed down. Now, this isn't... Uh, obviously, they've, uh, they've got in contact, so they've said yes, we'd love to um, get an interview, etc. Um, and I've sent over the questions via email, so uh, they will get it, and hopefully when this virus calms down, it'll all go ahead as planned. Uh, but, I have a little interview planned. Now, you know, you guys know interviews go well on this channel. We've done the York Dungeon Marketing Manager a couple of times. Ben, who's a fantastic individual, amazing human being. Uh, loved interviewing him. I would have loved, if the May opening for their new show that I talked about in that vlog from York Dungeon back in February uh, was still going ahead, that May opening for the new show, uh, then again, it would have been fantastic to interview him again. Uh, Morgs at York, Hall York May's Hallow Scream, that was very good as well. Uh, but we may have another interview added to our list. Now, Gangster Grand of the Rider Alton Towers is manufactured by a Derby based company called Garmondale. And this interview will be with the people from Garmondale. So potentially after this all coronavirus has ended, there's a potential that me, Koshal YouTube channel, will have an exclusive interview with the people at Garmondale, the Derby-based world-class theme park engineers behind Gangster Granny the Ride, among many other great attractions. Of course, I spoke about in the past how they're rumoured, potentially rumoured, uh, to be involved in a possible dart ride as part of the Wildwood Grove, the rumoured dart ride for a Wildwood Grove expansion at Dollywood. Uh, so, who knows? I might sneak an extra little question in there about that, but... Obviously not if it's not been confirmed yet. Obviously we know Dollywood's pushed their announcement back. So obviously you guys know that um, Dollywood has still yet to announce their biggest expansion. Their biggest, largest ever investment really. Uh, which looks like an investment plan. It looks like it's going to be more than just one investment announced. So very exciting indeed. Of course with the coaster surveys and the dark ride surveys. Very exciting. Uh, so... With the rumour of that, and of course, obviously, we knew Gangster Granny the Rider. We've followed this in the in the past, and you know, Garmondale. I've I've looked at their work online, and I've looked at their work uh, in the past. Such great engineers, such great amusement park manufacturers, uh, based in Derby, of course, like I said already. Uh, so yeah, that is the plan, potential planned interview we've got. Uh, when the coronavirus situation calms down. Uh, so that is going to be a great experience to see the people from Garmondale, uh, talk to them about the Gangster Granny attraction, what it's like to work with the brilliant Alton Towers Resort. The Alton Towers team love my videos. Uh, so 
you know, I've got no problem asking Garmendale about Alton Towers because they're such fantastic people and I want to hear it from the people who are actually working with them, not just the person who loves Alton Towers and loves what they do. Uh, so it, it's going to be nothing but positive, that interview. I'm not sure exactly who it's going to be with the interview, but I just know it's going to be with Garmendale. So very exciting stuff. I might drop a cheap question in there about future projects and, you know, anything they want to work on in the future or anything they'd like to work on if they wanted to. If they, if they had the power to work on something, what would they do, etc. Uh, so very exciting news indeed. Obviously when that interview comes out, I'll let you guys know first and I'll let you know the release date for that interview. I may actually do it as a premiere video, you know, like set it for an actual date and then set a premiere uh, time. And I can tell you guys on my social medias what time the interview will be released and what time it will premiere on YouTube, etc. So, and it's the first time I've done a premiere in like a year or so. So, um, very exciting indeed. That'll be a brilliant project. Obviously, the Q&A video, that's going to be filmed uh, tomorrow for the 1,500 subscriber milestone. Let's get this channel on the road to 2K. We're, we've passed 1.5. Now we're on the road to 2. And we're just going to keep going from strength to strength to strength to strength. Because this is what I want to do in my life. Yes, I'm an actor. Last year at university, I'll be finished this time next year. But I want this to be a part of my life. I want this to be pretty much at least half my life. I want to do this for at least half my life. Um, to do these theme park news updates, to go to them parts, to go to media events, to go to VIP launches for brand new rides and interview people, experience the ride for myself, get other people, get you guys, the fans on the channel, if you see me out and about when this coronavirus is over, if you see me at Alton Towers, if you see me at Hallow Scream this Halloween or anything like that, just stop me, say hello for a photo. All of that will be included in trip reviews and things like that. Like I did in York Base Hell Screen last year, I included a fan photo in the trip review. So, again, just come up to me and say if you want a photo or not, if you want to meet me or not. Um, and I can only expect, the success we've had on the channel so far, I can only expect the channel's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger from now on. So... I'm really excited for the future. I hope you guys are really excited for the future as well. This coronavirus will not beat me. We will not be beaten by this. We will go back to normal sooner rather than later. Thank you very much for watching this news update on Clotten and a bit of a bit of a general channel update, I guess. Um, so thank you very much. My name is Coach Chow. Please like, comment, subscribe. Get your questions in. Uh, one more day today and that's it. Everything must go. Closing down sale. <laughs> uh, so make sure you get your comments in, your questions for the Q&A video tomorrow. Uh, if you haven't got a question in already. If you've got one that someone else has asked, don't worry. I'll just add it on. You'll both get a shout out or all of you get a shout out for one question. Uh, but for now guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coach Chow YouTube channel. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Oh, by the way, if anyone out there, I, I, they've done the same with Theme Park Worldwide. If, you, if you've picked any funny moments or any bloopers or anything like that, and you want to make a compilation video, just do it. I, I want to have a good laugh. I want, to, I want to react to something. So thank you very much. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.